Um, we usually do, you know, for those of you loyal followers of the show, kind of about 17, 18 shows in now, boys. Jesus. You know, right there. Right there. Right there. You know? Who, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Time for an upgrade. Time, for, for, a video time for, for a barroom uh, <laughs> presentation. <laughs> Shoot me a tweet. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we want to change studio. We usually talk about a national, you know, topic of like, you know, failure of somebody. We usually pile on. Yeah, some knucklehead that we just which don't. We love doing. It. Don't get us wrong. But just lay off Tiger this week. Yeah, we're not going to get into that. We're going to talk about you know the the whole Mark McGuire um, situation. I, I, I ask a question today to people, and I'll get into my you know state of the union after these guys, but I asked a question today, if you were a voter, <clears throat> a writer with a vote for the, for the Baseball Hall of Fame, okay, moving forward now with all these steroid cases now, all these guys up for enshrinement that, that were supposedly on the juice or were found guilty, such as McGuire, to be on the juice, how do you justify your vote? How do you go about you know, what, what guidelines are you going by personally? Because you have your vote. They tell you you have to go by the numbers. You know, if they were involved in any off-the-field BS that you have to consider because it's sure. the total package. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, it's you and your pen. You right. got the vote. How do you vote for these guys? It's a lot of responsibility. You know, you have to look at, look, this is a steroid era. We understand that. I'm going to look at it based on... The stats, I'm looking at the stats, the total background, fact, fiction, what the media is saying, what's out there. You have to, you have to, it's complicated, there's no doubt about it. You have to look at everything together, and then based on all of that, you have to, you have to be very informed. It's very complicated, but then you look at everything, and then, okay, based on that, I'm going to vote this or this, yes or no. Everyone's different. You know, you can't make a blanket statement. The guy did steroids. He's out. Wash his record clean. He did not do steroids. He's okay. You, you don't know nowadays. You mean, That's judge, you mean judging on, on, on public proven guilty or suspicion? Yeah. You it's know, up to my, I'm going to have to disseminate all that information and make a decision. I can't just make it one source, two source. I, you have to dissect everything, the total pattern. make a decision. It's not easy, but that's what we're dealing with. It's hu it's human nature. It, oh yeah, it's gonna right. happen. Go ahead. See, I'm more <clears throat> I'm more of a black and white guy. If, okay. you got, if you got caught to me, you're out because I can never prove uh, if what you say is true when you started, when you stopped to. If you didn't get caught, I'm gonna look at your numbers and make a decision from there. Well, that's a good point. I mean, you got caught, or you say, or you come out saying, I did it. I'm sorry. Here it is, what I did. And well, now I know, deal I with it. How many versus, guys, but how okay, many guys I got caught, you know, or I'm not gonna I'm gonna lie and cheat. How many guys right? didn't get caught, guys? Ton, a ton. Okay, what? so how 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 do you so you can sit there and you know this guy's this guy's forearms are bulging right now, they're hitting you in your eye sockets, and you he he he's a second baseman who hit forty dingers a year back then, but he didn't get caught. But so you're gonna vote for him because it's black and white. He gets your vote, he didn't get caught, but you know he did. But he just, he, he hit it. He, he got away with it. He got away with it. So, so a guy like McGuire, who didn't get it, he admitted it, you know, basically well, he admitted, got caught, he admitted, then admitted it. But he also admitted it half faster. Regardless, the guys that got caught with it, you can't vote for, but there's suspicion of running rampant about all of them. Why is he coming out now? Why is Mark McGuire coming out right now? For his own purposes. Of course. Because he, he thinks not, he, you know, he withheld information he wanted to not live in the past to, to Congress. How is he going to be? Now he can come out and come out with it. He should get friggin' your player coming up. Am I going to listen to you because you did steroids? Oh, yeah. You know what? First of all, you're a hitting coach that hit 260 for your career. But if I'm, if I'm St. Louis, I think about letting him go because you're going to bring so much bad publicity to my team. This year oh. is going to be the worst year publicity wise oh. for that team. And don't call oh, guys, oh. you guys oh. For a second, put yourself back in 99, 80, you know, 98. 97. Back, baseball was coming back then. We all had a good time. We all enjoyed it. Unbelievable. It, it was awesome. I loved it. it. Oh, now, it brought it baseball back from the strike. Someone brought up, okay, he's I'm still on steroids. I'm so, balls juice. I'm, the, I'm sorry, you know, a lot of people come out, a lot of them younger kids right now, and they say, hey, it's steroid, whatever, who cares? 
it tainted that summer. Quarantine. If you aren't old enough to remember, if you were 10, okay, you don't, you don't know I'm me. sorry. If you were 12, I'm sorry. It's not the same. That summer was like a magical summer no, for baseball it fans. It brought us back. Sosa going against Maguire. Mm -hmm. It was huge. You know, and, and, and honestly, I mean, it didn't all come out yet. I mean, did we have suspicion back then? Not for, I, I, no, I didn't. I didn't, no. and I, maybe I'm stupid. No, no, they, but back then, nobody you know, talked about it. Was, I just didn't have yeah, it. You didn't think about it. It was just here. Here was this magical home run chase move that was bringing baseball back to us. You know, I think back then it was naive of yeah. us. In, in a way, of it, yes. A guy like looking like Mark McGuire, just I mean, come on, crushing the balls. You just didn't think of it that way. The All Star game, he just. Hitting missiles oh, out of Fenway right. Park. Uh, you think about it. I mean, re re real quick. I mean, th there's there's been issues. Someone good someone stuff. brought brought an issue to me today about th there was a case back when Mickey Mantle was fighting Roger Maris for that for the for uh, for the record for Ruth's record. <clears throat> he developed an abscess. He missed part of that season. Well, it come out this guy wrote a book uh, Zev Chavetz. I don't have time to get into it. He was a writer from the L.A. Times, New York Daily News. He, he, he come out with a book, he dug up all this information, that was testosterone and amphetamines mixed in the middle. And it was a bad needle, you know? There's all sorts of cases back in the 60s, 60s when bodybuilding started becoming huge and testosterone was huge. These doctors knew that took these players in. Oh, they knew what they were doing. They knew what was going on. The players probably knew. It goes back. Everybody understood. Knew. Understood. My take on it is, you have to take it on as 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 an individual. You have who who you have your guys down. You have the class that's going in that year. You have to look at it as an all around the whole body of work of that play. Yes. The total body of work of that play. Okay. Maybe a guy with the low average and huge huge power numbers maybe wasn't deserving. You have to put two and two together. You gotta look at the whole. The whole, the whole process, the whole body of work. Roberto Alomar, how dumb are you guys? A horrible. He's an automatic. His whole body of work is there. Okay? Maybe he was on something. Maybe he wasn't. He's a Hall of Famer. I mean, that's my thing. When same with Tom and same with Bond. When he went off against the umpire that time and he was spitting in his face. I think that's what screwed him the first year. Yeah, I mean, this, <laughs> sub, this subject is just loaded. I mean, yeah, but, you, you can talk about the, the time that we have, we have like... You know, we don't have much time in here, but you're talking about it for hours. It's just yeah. it's it's an intriguing subject. Um, but we gotta we gotta kinda wrap it up here. The studios getting ready for the, <laughs> the Cinemax people are coming in, so <laughs> Smitty's going What's like that this. Again? Paradise Cove. Paradise Cove <laughs> <laughs> coming in. Hold uh, up, ladies. Oh my <laughs> so, hey, we'll wait for it. Oh, we right, okay. yeah, yeah, we got another beer in the <laughs> signing <laughs> off here. Steve Marshall on my right, Tommy Slats. My stepson Mikey, nice work on the guitar, looking the same after the new year, my friend. <laughs> um, Smitty on the cameras, enjoying his old duels. I'm Chuck Hanf. Until next time. Stay thirsty, my friends. Stay thirsty, thirsty. my friends. Good, Good day. day.